Hello, everybody. This is the second day of Sure Shot Topics for Net. Today, I have a surprise for you, and that is a PowerPoint. <laughs> I thought I'll make a PowerPoint and show it to you because these topics have very difficult authors. What is the topic? American literature and Latin American literature. We will start with Latin American literature. You know why? Because in the previous exam, European literature, Latin American literature, some questions were there. So in the last minute, if you look at some of these authors and works, you will remember them. Don't worry, they were not asking very detailed, deep questions, only basic questions, mostly author work. So before the exam, I thought, at least you should look at these authors works and remember them. If you don't know, you still have time to look into it a little bit. At least one or two lines from Wikipedia, if you read, you will be able to answer like that simple questions. But if you have not even heard of the authors, it may be difficult. That is why. So first, Latin American literature, Jorge Luis Borges. That is the name of this author. Uh, Borges is very important in postmodernism. His works have been discussed by Michel Foucault. I'm sorry I put everything capitals. Uh, I did not get time to change it. When I typed accidentally, the caps lock was on. <laughs> Fictioness, that is one title that you should remember. Borges's Fictioness means fictions, okay? The name Fictioness means fictions. He writes in a highly postmodern, magic realist style. Another very important po no, you know, book of stories by Jorge Luis Borges is Labyrinths. These are all like novels, books of stories with very convoluted plots, full of magic realism. There are very famous short stories that he has written. The Universal History of Infamy, The Garden of Forking Paths, The Library of Babel, The Aleph, and The Book of Sands. I don't think we need to tell the stories and everything now. Um, because they never they asked very deep, deep questions. But if you get time, just take a quick look in Wikipedia, make a couple of notes on each of these by yourself, something so that you will remember with that or make some code. Okay, Borges, Fictions, Labyrinths. And I've just taken the major works, Universal History of Infamy, The Garden of Forking Paths, Library of Babel, Aleph. And I, you also know one more work, the Celestial Emporium. I'm just typing of imperial knowledge, isn't it? Where the Chinese encyclopedia is there. Very famous from uh, Michel Foucault. So the Celestial Emporium of imperial knowledge, I think I might be wrong. Imperial where there is a very funny Chinese encyclopedia, um, you animals are all uh, taxonomically divided in very funny ways. If you don't know about it, you can search. It's important. Okay, guys. The next writer is Miguel Angel Asturias. Now, you might think these are not important, but in the exam, such authors have been asked. They are Nobel laureates. Very famous book by him is Mr. President. It is about a dictator. Many Latin American works were about dictators. The trouble of living under a dictator. Banana trilogy, you know, three novels about the banana plantations in Latin America. Remember, Asturias wrote Mr. President and Banana Trilogy. My paid students, paid course students have dealt with all this in detail a little more, but they might have forgotten. I hope. This quick uh, overview will help you. Okay, Asturias, Mr. President, Banana Trilogy. Will you remember? I put only the very major works. Pablo Neruda, everybody knows, is famous. His real name is Neftali, Ricardo, Reis, 
Basalto. Pablo Neruda's real name is Neftali, Ricardo, Reis, Basalto. No stress in the last minute. Aise sing song voice mein, uh, you know, bachchon ki tarah padhoge to sab yaad rahega. Uh, Pablo Neruda, Neftali, Ricardo, Reis, Basalto. Nicardo, Neftali, Ricardo, Reis, Basalto. Okay, Book of Twilight he wrote. Remember, just before this, I talked about Book of Sand. This is Book of Twilight. Neruda wrote Canto General. Are, all these are poems only. Neruda's poems. And Neruda is very famous for memoirs. Memoirs, very famous. Some of the famous poems that are prescribed are Tonight I Can Write, A Song of Despair, and Ars Poetica. These are very famous poems by Pablo Neruda. Okay, guys, shall we move on? Right, Octavio Paz. You will be amazed to know this. Maybe you know already. What is that? Octavio Paz wrote about our Hanuman, the god Hanuman. Hanuman ji hai na? Monkey grammarian. That is what he wrote. Uh, Octavio Paz. He was the Mexican ambassador to India. And In Light of India is a work by Octavio Paz as well. Because it's about India, there are chances they will ask about Octavio Paz. Yaad rakhna, theek hai? These are important. Now, Julio Cortazar. Julio Cortazar wrote Bestiary. Bestiary is only one work that I have given by Julio Cortazar. Remember that. Juan Rulfo. Juan Rulfo. Also only one work I have given. It is Pedro Paramo. Pedro Paramo by Juan Rulfo. Important. Agar if you get time, you can Google search. Otherwise, show down no problem. Uh, only remember the title, okay? And Gabriel Garcia Marquez. One question here they might ask. In an evil hour, 100 years of solitude, the autumn of the patriarch, the protagonist is lying dead, face down. His palace is, uh, you know, encroached by vultures. Here also dictator. Love in the time of cholera. That is also a very funny tale. Love in the time of cholera about a love affair. The general in his labyrinth. And uh, one more is there. I want to type it for you. The chronicle of the death. The chronicle of a death. The chronicle of a death foretold. It's only a short uh, novel. It's like a short story. Once more, there are two dictator novels, Autumn of the Patriarch and General in His Labyrinth. Chronicle of a Death Foretold is a hilarious novel. I think I have given a short lecture in uh, Spotify. Guys, in Spotify, I have been giving audio lectures free, of course. And uh, now from tonight, again, I will start posting. Uh, if you watch sorry, listen to the Spotify audio lectures, you'll be able to get a lot of information and remember easily. Okay, Spotify download karo or audio lectures use karo. Okay, guys. Now, if you make a few, no, a little bit of notes, a few points, if you note down, you will be able to remember. Only the beginning of uh, whatever is given in Wikipedia is enough, actually. They will ask from there only because basic information only they'll ask. In which of these works, uh, which of these novels begins with the death of uh, a dictator? Like that question. All right. Next is Mario Vargas Yosa. Mario Vargas Yosa also created a dictator in the Feast of the Goat. This is also a dictator novel by Mario Vargas Yosa. Feast of the God is a very uh, disturbing novel, actually. And all these writers have, um, you know, used magic realism. And many of them are Nobel laureates. Isabel Allende is a very important writer. Again, she has written a famous novel, The House of the Spirits. I am not mentioning all the novels because this is last minute, Hena. I don't want to over pressurize you, but I thought I should tell you all the major authors quickly so that in the exam you will be able to remember. All right. 
Then there are Chicano American writers. That means Mexican writers who live in America, USA. Gro Gloria Anzeldoa. Uh, Gloria Anzeldoa has written at least two books that are very important. I will write here for you. Will you be able to see if I write? Of course, you will be able to see. What are the uh, two important works? Let me write Gloria Anzeldoa's Borderlands. La Frontera, the new Mestiza. That is one book. And uh, the other work by uh, Gloria Anzeldoa with Sherry Moraga is what uh, the bridge called my bag. It was edited by these two. It is a, an anthology of works of women of color. Very important in feminism. The bridge called my back. Okay. Uh, Gloria and Zeldua. Then there is Sandra Cisneros. Sandra Cisneros wrote uh, The House of Blue Mangoes. You want me to write? I'm sure you want me to write. I'll write. Okay. The House of Blue Mangoes. Hector Tobar is another writer who wrote The Barbarian Nurseries. The Barbarian, I mean, uh, nurseries. Okay, these are important. Chicano American writers. Shall we look at them once again? Gloria and Zeldua, Borderlands, La Frontera, The New Mestiza. With Sherry Moraga, she edited The Bridge Called My Back. Sandra Cisneros, The House of Blue Mangoes. Hector Tobar wrote The Barbarian Nurseries. I have only given... Some very major writers. Then Caribbean American writers. Paula Marshall. What did she write? Brown Girl, Brown Stones. Jamaica Kincaid. What did she write? Lucy, Autobiography of My Mother, Annie John. Junot Dias. Julia Alvarez. Gawitra Bahadur. The Coolie Woman. She wrote, na? The Coolie Woman by Gawitra Bahadur. Will you remember, guys? Important writers. Then we have Native American writers. James Welch, Leslie Marman Silko. Marman nahi, Marman. Leslie Marman Silko, Louis Eldridge, and Sherman Alexi. These are some of the writers. You can also add Thomas King, Richard Van Camp. Many writers are there, but I just put a few. And uh, in the last exam, they had asked about Chester Himes or somebody. Um, one work, one author they had asked. So that is Native American writers. Okay. Next, we'll take a quick look at postmodern American writers. We are not talk, going to talk about all the American writers, only latest writers that you don't know very much. Henry Miller. Or a Henry Miller, to aap log, jante ho aap log. Henry Miller is the author of the very controversial works. Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn. Hey na? Tropic of Cancer, tra Tropic of Capricorn. Then Kurt Vonnegut. He wrote Slaughterhouse Five. Kurt Vonnegut wrote Slaughterhouse Five. Norman Mailer and Truman Capote are uh, new journalism writers, faction writers. Along with them, there is Hunter S. Thompson and Tom Wolf. Okay, they're all new journalism okay i will write here so that you will remember new journalism writers are norman mailer okay truman capote after that tom wolf and hunter s thompson all these are important uh, new journalism or faction writers gonzo journalism like that uh, kinds of journalism also are associated with them. They will be important. Then there is Thomas Pynchon. Thomas Pynchon is the author of Gravity's Rainbow, V, The Crying of Lot 49, Entropy. The short story Entropy is prescribed in universities. Vladimir Nabokov is the author of Lolita. You know that he also wrote Pale Fire which is actually a 999-lined poem. 
He also wrote his memoir, Speak Memory. Lolita, Speak Memory, Pale Fire, then PIN, P-N-I-N. Are you getting me, guys? These are the works of um, Vladimir Nabokov. Okay. John Barth. John Barth is the author of uh, Literature of Exhaustion and Literature of Replenishment. Sort Weed Factor. Chimera. All important works. I hope you are writing down. Otherwise, you should watch the video again and write down. Don DeLillo. Very important. Don DeLillo wrote White Noise. Then he wrote um, Underworld, Cosmopolis. These are very important works of Don DeLillo. Okay. Don DeLillo is another postmodern American writer. Will you remember, guys? These are very important postmodern American writers. We have more array, genres and movements. In genres and movements, there is a Latin American genre or movement called the boom. The boom is a Latin American movement. Then important genres that you should know, New York poets, San Francisco Renaissance, Jewish American writers, confessional poets, beat poets, science fiction and cyberpunk fiction, metafiction, fabulation, pauminan, apocalyptic fiction. So many are there. What? Which of these is a genre about an author writing a book? A metafictional genre about an author writing a book. That is pauminan, pauminan. Fabulation is uh, written by, uh, is a term used by Robert Scholz, okay? Fabulism was uh, coined by John Barth. John Barth talked about fabulism, okay? You have to remember the important writers in these categories. In the last uh, few days, let us work on all this. And uh, every day based on the video, if you work a little bit, you will be able to get a lot of valuable information for the exam. There are also anti-Westerns written by writers like Cormac McCarthy. Anti-Westerns written by Cormac McCarthy, Blood Meridian, Blood Meridian. I hope you'll look up these writers, guys. Uh, the writers who belong to these American movements. So with that short video, uh, I have given you a lot of work. Please uh, work and uh, do amazing revision in the last days so that you will be able to answer all the questions in the exam. Okay. So thank you. Bye-bye. Good night. I will come back tomorrow with more such topics and more information to